Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 20th of February. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the standout features of this week to look out for. Please stay with me. I will dive deep to give you each of the 12 signs from Aries through to Pisces. But this section of the video gives you a lot of perspective of what you can expect. Now, as this week begins, Venus makes its way into Aries, a sign it's said to be detrimented in. But I actually find when I work with my clients on a one-to-one -one basis, people with Venus in Aries or the first house often have a thrust about what they want to go for. So I think it can actually be very positive. And there are some very exciting conjunctions come in with Venus involved in the weeks to come. So stay with me for those. But of course, Monday also sees the new moon in Pisces. Pisces energy is very much about the spiritual dimension. It can be about healing. It can also be about just withdrawing a little bit to reflect on what the last year has meant for us all, preparing us for when the sun makes its way into the sign of Aries in a month's time with the spring equinox. But this particular new moon is combining with Saturn late located in the sign of Aquarius. So we have a disassociate conjunction. And I feel that this is asking us all over the next couple of years to take our mental and emotional welfare a lot more seriously when, than we've been inclined to do in the past. Now there is a sparkling alliance between Mercury and Mars this week, which could prime up some very positive conversations, very lively encounters. But Mercury then goes on to tangle with Uranus. You know that old saying about keeping business and pleasure apart? I think it's something you should be mindful of later this week, not least because it may not be in an actual business situation that you find yourself and someone you're fond of or a friend a chaffing against each other around a financial issue, perhaps around a possession, or perhaps just around differing values. So there could be some electric and rather awkward energy which brings the curtain down on this week. Now, if you're a returning viewer to this channel, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. Please comment. I interact with all comments. This is very much a community. Also, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand what more serious astrology can help you to plan and execute your passions and desires more effectively, please check out below my special Life Roadmap Report. This helps you to get a much more intimate understanding of some of the key aspects that have worked into your situation throughout your life. In my special package of 30% off, you can also get your 12 month personal forecast, totally unique to you. These reports are just for you individually. Please see the link below for more. So Leo, your week commencing the 20th of February forecast sees the sun in that new moon in the eighth house. This is about deep transformations. Now, it depends on what's going on in your personal situation. It may be that you want to work on forward planning with your finances, so anything to do with pensions, insurances, uh, looking at wills. It's a tender subject, but it's a good one to think of with the new moon in the eighth house or making provision for others within your family. Or perhaps you're even thinking about remortgaging or getting on the property ladder or releasing some equity or raising the funds for a business. All of those practical streams are possible over the next month. But the eighth house is also about what we can't necessarily see at a very superficial level. So it's about diving deep and understanding the uh, deeper strands within all of us. Some of these are very much to do with our motivations. Issues to do with control, uh, manipulation, they may be strong topics, 
But if you have a relationship in your situation where you feel that someone is applying some kind of leverage to you, that's something that you may want to liberate yourself from. And with Venus moving into your uh, to your sister fire sign of Aries. It's a great chance to break free of something that isn't working so well. But also you've got a terrific link between Mercury and Mars. So if you can network and, and, uh, and collaborate with people that you have a sense of purpose with, that's a very enabling influence. The angle between Mercury and Uranus later this week, however, is a bit more challenging. It suggests that however much you try to see the other person's point of view, someone could prove to be in unpredictable, changeable, difficult and irascible, and that could leave you a little bit frustrated towards the end of this week. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment or subscribe.